Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, this is looking like the potentially most interesting video I've done so far. Uh, and we're looking at the potential for a significant snow event this time across parts of southern England especially. And that's including the southeast and London. I know a lot of people there are desperate to have some snow and the chances are looking the best they've been in a while. Potentially the most significant snow event uh, for a, potentially a couple of years. Uh, so, could cause some significant disruption. We'll start off by looking at my snow forecast graphic which I made here. That's valid from uh, this morning till kind of 6 a.m. on Monday. You can see anywhere within this kind of lighter blue zone uh, it has a possibility of seeing one to three centimeters, possibly a bit higher, but that's just kind of the general area which is possibly seeing snow, especially as you go kind of into this area here. So Kent, that chance there even decreases. It's kind of just slightly lower here as snow's already moved through by now, uh, which I'll get into a bit. Potentially a risk of snow extending into parts of East Anglia uh, and Eastern England as well. Then in the blue zones, anywhere here, it could see one to three centimetres Oh, sorry, three to five centimeters of snow, locally even 10 centimeters. I know already 20 centimeters has fallen across parts of the Cotswolds uh, and hills of kind of the West Midlands uh, as well, and kind of Southwest England. So potentially 10 centimeters there. We've got a snow band. That's this area looking likely to see some snow. And we also have this area. We have a low to the south. That's going to pivot round sometime during this afternoon, bringing three to five centimeters there, locally 10 centimeters, uh, and then. We have this purple zone, which is 5 to 10 centimetres possible. This is not the only area, I think, in this blue zone that's going to see 5 to 10 centimetres, but it's probably where the best confidence is at the moment, as we get that low pivoting round, potentially this area seeing snow for quite a long time. Uh, if we look at the Met Office warnings, you can see a lot of warnings for cold weather, snow and ice. Oh, we've got some new warnings as well. Uh, well, you can see this is today, or we'll focusing on the south, we have snow warning across uh, this is the main one, the main kind of interesting one here, that's into kind of parts of the West Midlands and the Cotswolds for wintry showers. We just had a snow and ice warning issued for parts of Dorset and the south coast uh, as kind of snow and uh, snow showers moving there, potentially some ice as well. We have a fog warning, which is going to expire soon in about eight minutes uh, for some freezing fog. That's been quite an interesting morning. And then we have this main one, which is potentially uh, two to five centimetres of snow, possibly 10 centimetres in places. Um, and you can see that's for basically south southeast England, Kent, the south coast, London, parts of the home counties, Essex as well. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they update this in a few minutes, potentially adding an amber region somewhere in here and potentially extending it further west as well. I'll just refresh it just in case. Uh, no updates yet, but that's kind of the outlook for today. That goes from 6 o'clock this afternoon until 9 o'clock tomorrow. If we look at the current radar, uh, anywhere which is showing pink, that's snow. Red dots are reports of snow. And then green is kind of sleet and blue is rain. Uh, the darker the colour, the heavier the snow. And you can see we have that snow band I was talking about across parts of the West Midlands and southwest southern central England. Uh, like I said, there's already been reports of 10, 20 centimetres of snow across parts of the higher ground in this region. And you can see that snow band not really moving anything. It almost looks like it's kind of pivoting round. Uh, as you can see, but it's kind of slowly moving north and eventually it's going to start to die. But that's still going to give, like I said in this graphic, potentially three to five centimetres of snow in places. We have this main region here. There's a low pressure system down here. We have a band of convergence extending through the channel. And then we have uh, kind of lift that's generating showers and that those showers and kind of convection is turning to snow. As you can see, really, really heavy snow rates and when uh, when kind of rain turns to snow the rates already become heavier so we've got really significant snow across parts of southern uh, england the dorset kind of area south coast right now you can see if we've got any reports potentially a lot of snow going on there I don't see any reports but so you can see this area like this and if we show you the animation you can see it's tra it's going to be transferring east slowly Kind of three to five centimeters possible and then notice that this area here is starting to turn to the north and as that turns to the north it potentially is going to pivot into parts of the southeast bringing quite a lot of snow which i'll get into in a second there's an the animation you can see it kind of nicely winds coming in like that on the back side winds moving up here so you can generally kind of make out we've got the low somewhere around this mark here let me see if i can use a pen the lows are likely in here somewhere we've got flow uh, the kind of rain coming in on the backside, and then we've got uh, kind of precipitation starting to pivot round. 
uh, and judging by the pressure observations like I said low in there somewhere and that low if I get a different color pen black should be good that low is likely going to move sort of in this region uh, oh no what's going on here that low is likely going to move kind of in this region along here and then it's possibly going to pivot to the north or well, not possibly it's likely to pivot to the north during the afternoon and this whole snow band here you can just about make out it's kind of already starting to get a hint of northern motion so as you can see aspects of it are starting to turn to the north and it's likely that as it the afternoon goes on that snow band is going to kind of move to the north and potentially like I said this region seeing it snow and that's why I've got that snow graphic out looking at some of the potential models you can see these are some of the different scenarios this is the Aro model pink is showing snow there's that snow band that we had and then potentially it's a bit too far south and east on the precipitation compared to radar you can see possibly a touch off um, but like I said, that snow band pivots north. This particular run brings, brings heavy snow into Essex, Kent, and then eventually into London because it pivots around. Uh, so that's potentially giving, if I show you, if that were to happen, we'd be looking at five, uh, three to five centimetres of snow in this region. In the past run, you can see what happens is that the snow, I mean, this is not the best, most accurate representation, but it's possibly doing a bit better compared to this regarding radar you can see maybe a slightly better comparison you can see what happens here is that the low pivoted earlier and if i show you the precipitation rate we get the low pivoting earlier turning to snow and then we get heavy snow especially across parts of london there and to the north and that brought kind of five six seven centimeters fairly widely over this region uh, if you look at the pressure observations i was just showing you uh you can see here we have the this low I'll get this pen out you have the low here these are the winds you can see winds coming in like that on the back side you can see winds coming in from the south over here and then our pressure observations uh, indicating the low matching up with the wind speeds you can see we've got winds like that on the northern side so our center of low pressure is likely in here or not likely it is in here somewhere and then like I said that low is going to be moving uh, kind of in this region this general area along the channel we've actually if I show you, you can see we have winds coming in from the north or like that over the coast. And then we have winds coming in from the south like here, like this, sorry. So we've kind of got this region of a convergence extending like this uh, through the channel. And that convergence is causing those showers and storms to form. If I show you the satellite, let me just clear that and get the picker. You can see this is causing storms this is not just kind of normal areas of precipitation it is actually convection as you can see here if the satellite gets any better but actually we do have thunder and lightning i'm not sure if you can see we do have a few lightning strikes or there were a few lightning strikes previously in this region they've gone now but so you can see we've got this area of convergence that's generating precipitation uh, if I get some if I use the blue to show that's generate precipitation in there and then there's that low that main low uh, clears to the kind of moves in this direction and then we get all that precipitation kind of pivoting round to the northern side you can imagine we get snow into parts of the southeast so using pressure observations and kind of the wind pattern we can kind of infer uh, where the snow is going to be if we look at the oh also if we look at the metal fist ensembles uh, you can see this is the mograps ensembles i've been talking about that for quite a long time each of these lines is representing one different scenario and you can see now finally we have good agreement that there's going to be snow this is for london uh, overnight tonight into tomorrow morning quite good agreement now all those lines going up indicating the confidence is strong for snow and then if i show you what i was just going to show you this is the ensemble mean for the french Aro model you can see this is the kind of probability of falling snow of more than one centimeter you can see this entire region through kind of central southern England has over 80% chance of seeing at least one centimetre of snow uh, you can see there if you look for five centimetres we have a smaller probability but still 50% chance uh, that this kind of area sees five centimetres of snow uh, kind of to the north of London as that band pivots around and then we have a small chance of 10 centimetres uh, of snow or more kind of to the north of London and I think the chance of 10 centimetres occurring five to ten centimetres occurring is fairly high we just don't know exactly where and it's going to be as this band pivots around some areas are going to potentially see snow for a long time, causing significant travel disruption. 
So that's the summary for this video. Looking really exciting, potentially quite a big snow event on tap for kind of southern England. Uh, so it's going to be looking really interesting for the snow lovers, potentially some good snow, although this could cause some travel disruption, especially for rush hour, there's snow all over the place, uh, could be a few kind of schools maybe shut down, possibly a small chance of that, maybe some transport lines closed, that kind of thing. But thank you so much for watching, have a great day and enjoy the snow.